to me, Ivory Coast is going to be just like one of the most awesome places to go and to see. I've never gone to the Ivory Coast before. What have you learned about the Ivory Coast since you've been with the company? Well, Naizu is uh, from Ivory Coast and uh, they speak French. Uh, he also tells us that it's uh, next door to Liberia and they're very close, closely related. Um, uh, the dancing, the way they move their bodies, because each country has a different way of moving their bodies and the way Naizu moves his body is the way that the uh, Ivory Coast people dance tribal dance. What have you learned about the Ivory Coast? I've learned that they like to dance. <laughs> <laughs> that their dances have meaning. It's not just uh, gyrating and shaking and stuff like that. They they dance with a purpose. I've never been, but it is a place that I would certainly like to go. Um, the people that I've met from the Ivory Coast have always been very warm and open, and I like that feeling. I like that energy, and it, this is just something that I really like to see for myself one day. Okay, tell us what do you know about the Ivory Coast and how do you feel about the Ivory Coast? I feel like it's some place that I would like to go one day, you know, because um, if the if the people in the Ivory Coast has any of the type of spirit that Nazu brings to us, then that must be a wonderful place to visit or to live. What, in particular, what have you learned about the Ivory Coast since you've been with the company? The kinship, that, that there are no boundaries, because many of the things that he speaks of, the villages and the dialects and the uh, time that he spent in youth being rambunctious and not necessarily complying with uh, the wishes of his parents and his elders, uh, it mimics what we do right here. So on that note, we are, we are not separated. We are separated by land, but not by the culture itself. Well, the people have been going through a lot, um, but they're resilient. We're, we are resi a, a resilient people. And so uh, we're all really looking forward to visiting Côte d'Ivoire because we know it's going to be very uplifting and joyful and loving. Tell us what uh, what have you learned about the Ivory Coast since you've been with Nazu and Company? What, what I've learned so far with Nazu and Company is that um, it's, it's a beautiful place and it's full of different richness, um, definitely different cultural um, influences in terms of the people, in terms of their fashion, you know, um, in terms of um, their forms of dancing, um, how they express themselves. Tell us, what do you know about the Ivory Coast? Well, I've never been to Africa, but from what Nizu tells me, the Ivory Coast is a very rich country. A lot of unity with the families. And he wants us to come to his home and meet his family. And, you know, and I've seen pictures of the Ivory Coast, very rich indeed. Tell us what have you learned about the Ivory Coast since you've been with the company? I learned that the people are loving, that the Ivory Coast, everyone there is full of life and full of empowerment. And if they're anything like Nazu, <laughs> then they're full of love and peace and joy. And they love their people. It's about unity and acceptance. And I think that that's the, the image that they give. Pour le moment, nous travaillons avec nos propres moyens, mais ça ne nous empêche pas de représenter la Côte d'Ivoire dans les festivals. La preuve en est que depuis 2008, le groupe Nazu a représenté la Côte d'Ivoire dans les festivals en France, au Canada, aux États-Unis. Nous avons même participé à un concours organisé par la Banque mondiale en 2010, où la Côte d'Ivoire est sortie comme vainqueur devant 24 pays africains. Ces artistes avec qui nous travaillons sont des Américains d'origine, mais je peux dire euh, Ivoiriens d'adoption, parce que depuis qu'elles font partie de ce groupe, elles se sentent Ivoiriennes. Tout ce qui concerne la Côte d'Ivoire les concerne. Et lorsqu'il y a eu des troubles en Côte d'Ivoire, elles étaient même plus concernées que nous. Corinne, now we've got some great dancing going on, but it's telling the story too, right? This dance is actually called Launa, and it's from the north of Ivory Coast. And this is a single piece that Naizu will be doing in the show. Now, who is Naizu? Naizu is the artistic director, the master dancer, choreographer, 
He's an experienced dancer. He does the splits. <laughs> yes, the man who does the splits, the man who teaches us, who choreographs all the dances you see in the show. So that's who Naidu is. All right, now, Tree Montini, you are a dancer as well in the show. What's it like to be a part of this? Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited every time I go to rehearsal. I'm excited for the show, which will be on Saturday at 7. And I'm excited because, also excited because we're going to do different dances from the Ivory Coast, east, west, north, and south. And this particular one is from the north. And I'm just so happy to be a part of Naisu and Co. And when I heard about this fabulous brother from the Ivory Coast. The same day that I heard about him, I was here tonight. A lot of the things that I couldn't do before I can do now, like um, I always had trouble getting down and up off the floor, and due to the fact that I work with young children, I need to be able to get down to their eye level, and I have no problem getting down and off the, up and down from the floor, so, and it keeps me youthful, you know. It's a personal thing, you feel so good, you feel free when you do the African movement, you feel complete, um, I love it, it's part of my life, I probably won't ever stop until I can't move the body.
time I come to Nazi and Company um, classes, it's always a great feeling, um, when, especially when we meet for every class and for every rehearsal, we always do prayer. We always come together as a group. We, you know, we're all brothers and sisters in Christ, so we definitely convey that, and we, we speak very highly of, of healing, of, um, you know, being positive, of dancing, so um, that's always very impactful. Effectivement, nous prions à toutes nos rencontres, c'est-à-dire en spect répétition, spectacle de danse et festival. Cela ne veut pas dire que nous n'avons que des chrétiens dans la compagnie. Non, la preuve en est que nous avons des musulmans, des chrétiens et des non-croyants. Mais ils respectent nos principes qui sont des prières à toutes nos rencontres. Et nous travaillons dans un cadre de paix, d'amour et de respect. Naizu and companies, Naizu's vision for the company is uh, a healing company. So when we go out to dance, uh, we pray uh, each time we go out and we pray when we end. But in that, there's a different kind of a spirit when we dance. It's, um, and people come and tell you about that. Uh, we've danced in France. After we've danced, uh, people have come up to us and they, they're crying and they're pointing to their hearts because we don't speak French, but they do. <laughs> so we know that they loved it. It's a different kind of feeling. And that comes from Nizu's vision. La vision du fondateur au départ était de créer une, un groupe comme le Village Kiyi. Village Kiyi parce que c'est de là-bas qu'il vient. Et une manière de, aussi de mettre en valeur ce qu'il a appris de ce village. Par la suite, nous nous sommes donné une autre mission, de promouvoir les danses de chez nous. Parce que ici, dans le Maryland et aux alentours, les Américains qui apprennent les, les danses et les danses du, 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 de la Guinée, du Sénégal, ce qui n'est pas mauvais, ils promotent les, les, les danses de chez eux. Mais nous aussi, en tant qu'Ivoiriens, nous nous sommes dit, pourquoi ne pas promouvoir les danses de chez nous C'est comme ça que nous avons commencé à leur apprendre à danser le bébé, le thématé, la pombo, enfin, les danses traditionnelles, quoi. En plus de, des danses traditionnelles, euh, nous avons élargi notre répertoire en ajoutant la musique des mewe, la musique des DJ. Euh, pour nous, une façon de promouvoir la musique ivoirienne et les danses ivoiriennes modernes. Describe the feeling you get um, being a part of this company and with, with dancing. Um, I just like coming. I like being around my friends and my sisters. And you know, I, I feel like when I'm not, when I'm unable to make it, when I actually do come to a class, people have missed me, and that feels good because, you know, what, what's the purpose of going somewhere if your presence is not felt? I really enjoy dancing with the company, um, and I hope and pray that Nazu's dreams and visions of what the company is all about continue to go forward. When I came to the company, I had a lot of just built up frustrations and things going on personally. And when I came to the company and I started dancing, it was like a release of frustration, a release of anger. And it was just like a spiritual healing for me. I leave here and I feel refreshing, I feel alive, I feel empowered, I feel strong. And it seems like the gifts that are inside of me are just being birthed out. So it, it's, it's been a blessing to my life. On a personal level, it's it's an inspiration for us as a people because we didn't actually we've never I've never been there but I know my ancestors are there and so when I dance I dance for them and for the people here in America. Nous serons bientôt en Côte d'Ivoire pour euh, notre premier album. Nous c'est nous voulons montrer un peu à nos parents, nos frères ivoiriens ce que nous faisons ici aux États-Unis à travers notre art. Nous avons fait chanter à ces Américains une chanson à Roloff parce que le titre de cet album c'est « Get back to your roots », ce qui signifie « Retour à tes racines ». Bon, vous savez quand on parle de, de la traite négrière, quand on parle de, de l'esclavage, on parle beaucoup de Gorée. Donc le titre de, de ce morceau sera « Gorée ». Vous verrez bien, bientôt en Côte d'Ivoire, nous allons jouer avec nos, nos frères ivoiriens. On prie qu'il ait la paix, vraiment qu'il qu ait la paix pour que on puisse venir ensemble jouer, danser, chanter et puis eh, avoir cette, eh, cette, cet échange eh, culturel avec les Américains. Que la paix règne dans le, en Côte d'Ivoire. 
Nous remercions tous ceux qui nous soutiennent de près et de loin. Et à ciao. Cette chanson est dédiée à toutes les mères du monde. Que tu sois américaine, africaine, européenne, asiatique, tu es précieuse, maman. La parole de Dieu nous dit, honore ton père et ta mère. Afin que les jours se prolongent.